Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at Scary Terry from Series 2 of the Funko um, Rick and Morty action figures. And this figure is absolutely fantastic. Uh, but before we take a closer look at him, let's go ahead and take a look at his packaging. Here it is. It's the same as all of the other figures in the line. Um, and on the back it shows um, the other figures that you can um, pick up. Um, in you know in this wave um, He does come with a build-a-figure piece for Carbopolis Michael, but like I said in the squanchy review um, Carbopolis will have his own uh, video where I'll talk about him. So Back to the figure itself here now Scary Terry stands at about five and a quarter inches tall So he's right in scale with all of your other Rick and Morty figures and I just have to say that I Absolutely love this figure. It's my favorite that they've released so far um, And it's not even because scary Terry is my favorite character or anything. I mean they just have fixed um, a lot of the problems um, You know in my opinion from the first wave um, We'll kind of talk about that more here in a second. Let's go ahead and run through his articulation He's got a swivel in the head not the greatest, I wish it was a ball peg, um, but you know, it works. Ball hinges in the shoulder that do swivel 360, hinged elbows, swivel wrists, and then he's got ball hinged knees, uh, or ball hinged hips, excuse me, with a really nice range of motion, as well as hinged knees and swivel ankles. Now some of the problems um, that I was talking about that they fixed, in my opinion, are um, with the body itself and the way that the body looks. Um, the first wave figures at the hips had these had this design here and it's the same design on this one except they've pushed the legs further into the um, like cod piece area um, which I think makes it have a, a much smoother appearance um, overall they've also not done as much of the bug eye effect on the faces um, that's continued with most of the other figures um, including the other Morty we'll talk about that one in its review um, but overall, I think that this figure looks like it stepped directly out of the cartoon. It's got a really clean paint job. Um, so overall, an excellent figure, and I definitely 100% recommend picking it up. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section below, and I guess I'll see you later.